A good friend Rob Lapier here, fine viewer, supporter of Hometown Cable. I haven't seen him in any basketball games this year. I didn't know if he was still officiating basketball. Galvin Gastine, uh, with a voice that's not going to last the whole game, probably. It's the 26th day of February, 2011. And this is Section 7, Class C, semifinals, Lake Placid in blue, Ticonderoga in white. Winner of this game to face the winner of Northern Adirondack and Seton Catholic. And this just in, a three-point win for Seton. And the game just concluded here on Hometown Cable. <laughs> for the past couple of years, Lake Placid has competed in the MVAC in basketball for some reason. And uh, the only time the uh, other CVAC schools get to see them is when it gets to the playoff time. And uh, so they are an, almost an unknown quantity. Tie the number one seed. Rebounded there by Mars. <laughs> have to forgive my occasional cough. A three-pointer. <laughs> that was uh, Dan Morrison. <coughs> Gets the scoring started here. Steal and lay-in by Leigh Lenhart. <laughs> we cut off for a second while we 
did a little off-camera coughing. And the players obliged us by not accomplishing anything while we were off. Rejected by Mars. Yep, by Mars. Mars throws it in. It's now seven nothing Ticonderoga. Stolen. That's a 10 nothing lead now for Ticonderoga. And it really looks to be a one-sided uh, situation here. Play-in by Lenhart, the previous pass get there was by Nolan. 12 nothing, 4.40 to go. nothing and we're barely four minutes into the game. Count it. Cordzio gets the blue bombers on the scoreboard. The foul was on Perky. The foul was called on Stevenson. Saturday, the 26th of February. Fourteen degrees and we arrived today, so... It's about uh, 15 degrees cooler than it should be. I was call on Bickford. Wow. Three pointer by Ellen Lenhart. And it's 18 to 2 with 316 showing. McLean inbounds it to Runlin. And the Sentinels take it away. was pulled down by Lenhart. And Bombers take it away. Off white says Lapeer. Here 
from the Sentinels. Count the basket. Pickford with his second foul. Sends one heart to the line. Shoot two. Breyer and Lawrence have reported in for the Bombers. They trail 20 to 2 with 145 on the clock. And we're just in the first quarter. Air ball. Defense doesn't pick up till the forecourt in a game like this. Fouls on Lenhart sends Daniels to the line. Shooting two. get 20 to 3 with 51 seconds to go in the first quarter. White ball. Three pointer for Matt Nolan. Makes it 23 to 3, a 20 point advantage for Ty with 26 seconds to go in the quarter. Neither team has cheerleaders, uh, as was the case in the uh, first games. No cheerleaders. at the end of one here on viewer supported hometown cable. Second quarter. Started off with a quick shot. Bombers bring it back. Rebounded by 35, that's uh, Riley Chapman. Probably up from the JVs. He wasn't on a, an earlier roster that we had here. Rolls off the rim. And the Bombers will bring it back. by Logan Stevenson. Oh, wait a minute. That was probably Grunlin, Will Grunlin. Way off the mark. Finally by Chapman. Lowry brings it up. Reverse layup is good. By Sean Smith. Heck of a shot.
Hỏi bo Contested shot by Smith. And I said 27 to 5. Shots missed by Orsi. Four and a half to go in the first half. at the line. Twenty-seven ten. Three forty-two to go in the first half. Just a question of how much the winning margin will be. leg kick looking like Dale Trombley. Dale Trombley, former MAI star. The double leg kick. And the Bombers get the ball back. They trail 27-13 with 2.50 showing here in the second quarter. Rebounded by Mars. <laughs> Chapman at the line. Stevenson with his second foul. Chapman with the rebound and basket. 
30 to 13, 147 to go. First half, section seven. Class C semifinals. seconds to go in the half. Fouls on Daniels, Perky at the line. Thirty-one thirteen. Forty-five seconds remaining in the first half. No foul. Travel. Well, the class will get into the final 24 seconds ticking off in the first half. seconds. Thirty-one thirteen, eighteen point lead for the Sentinels at the half here in viewer supported hometown cable. We're in the opening moments of the second half. Ticonderoga had a dry run down the floor. And uh, the travel. Nice little shot there to make it thirty one to fifteen. Is at the other end. Air ball. Bickford at the line. Lenhart with his second foul. Show some patience there. Makes it 36 to 15. Top of the key, it falls in. And it's Morrison. Oh, it's Mars, 33, not 23. 33. Orsi with a bucket. 38 to 17, 554 to go, third period. Section 7, Class C semifinals. February 26, 2011. 
Foul is on Daniels. The second. Mars hits the first. And the second. 40 to 17. Twenty-three point lead now for Ticonderoga. played on a Saturday. The girls Friday night games were rescheduled due to a, a snowstorm that uh, was coming in so they rescheduled on the day ahead of time to not have to uh, do some last minute uh, cancellations. Give everybody ample time to replan their own schedules. Bigfoot at the line, and we have uh, Perky picking up his third foul. Here come the Sentinels. In and out. Ticonderoga will keep it. With the events that happened in and around Fort Ticonderoga and all the things that have happened over the years in Lake Placid, these are certainly two well-known communities that are playing ball against each other right now known throughout the country. Three fifty-four going in the third quarter. Twenty-five point lead for Ticonderoga. When they jumped out to that quick seven point advantage it was quite obvious which direction this game was gonna go. Basket by Logan Stevenson, and now all of a sudden uh, Lake Placid's going to put a full court press on. We're going to have a, a work turnover. They figure if we're going to lose, let's lose uh, by as little as we can. Keep it. 14 on the shot clock. Off the rim. Rebounded by Mars. Smith, that's at least two of those he's got in this game. 
Falls back to a 25 point advantage, 2.25 to go in the third period. Ty led 31-13 coming in. They actually had a very quiet second period, scoring only eight. Bombers will keep it. Rejected by Mars. And here come the Bombers. Rejected by Nate Lenhart. Fourteen showing in the third quarter. Like Placid with the ball. Air ball. Seconds, a lot of time left in the half, in the third, excuse me. There's Chapman. Ramos, take it away. Five seconds to go in the third. at the end of three. Seeing folks, uh, umpires like Tim Snow and uh, Ron Chase reminds me that the uh, first spring training game for the Yankees is going on right now as we're recording this. The Yankees in Philadelphia, down in Florida somewhere. Outside of the games that I take, uh, the only sports I usually watch on a regular basis is uh, the Yankee baseball. Uh, I'll take four basketball games today. The last thing I want to do is go home and watch another basketball game. Uh, the basket by Sean Smith. Skip and Norsey jump. He's up a little short though. 48 21, under seven to go in the game. Nice move by Nate Lenhart. to get it back by Daniels. Yeah. 
not that there are any Cougar hockey fans watching this, but just in case there are. The thing that I, in a perfect world, what I could have done is uh, take the Bobcat game against Seton earlier, leave uh, and go to the Deepman Town Northeastern Hockey semifinal. <coughs> And then come back to cover Northeastern and Beatman Down in the basketball semifinal. However, the time of the hockey game and the time of the basketball game would mean that I'd be cutting it very close following the hockey game. Fouls on Sean Smith. This is Grunlin at the line. In addition to cutting it close after the hockey game to the start of the basketball game, I would have to find a brand new parking space out in the parking lot and carry my equipment in uh, from the far reaches of the parking lot instead of uh, one of the closest possible spots when you get here early on these four game days to uh, beat the crowd and get a good parking space, but uh, travel. If I had uh, left and come back, I'd have a, a long, long walk back in here so, and carry my bag of equipment, which is uh, surprisingly heavy. Lowry picks up his third foul, Gremlin at the line. Fifty twenty-five. Chapman out of bounds. Picking up his first foul. There's a touchdown pass. <laughs> and no basket to show for it. Air ball. Daniel's picking up his fourth foul. Thirty-six to go. Fifty to twenty-five. Good. Mm -hmm. 
was Henthorn. 52-27, 25, 52-25, 27 point lead. And blue ball. This baseline runner by Logan Stevenson. 52-27, 234 to go in the game. Looks like some of the fans for the next game have arrived. Uh, Henthorne with his third foul. This is uh, Breyer at the line. This is the one and one. 2.24 to go. I think it's safe to say now that Ticonderoga will meet Seton Catholic in the Section 7 championship game. Timeout. That timeout was just to get a sub into the game. on Stevenson. I'm not sure that foul was necessary. Chapman hits the first. And Bombers will bring it down. 114 to go. A three from the corner. By Will Grunlin, 53 to 30. Whoa! I don't think he traveled, Rob. But he might have slipped his foot. Five seconds to go. Then Thorne scores on the pass from uh, Chapman. 55 to 30. Six seconds. The game should just wind down. And it does. A 25 point victory for Ticonderoga. They will advance to the championship game, and that's the way it was on this February 26, 2011. You've been watching viewer supported local television, Hometown Cable. Win, lose, or draw, TV worthy of your support, Hometown Cable.